When I first made a video for 8.2a, I only intended to do the first part where you just had to fill in the equations and then make the shape before filling in what information you had about it into these slots over here. Now I got enough students that still had questions about how to make this piece. I decided that I may as well go ahead and make another video for this as well. Uh, so this is all kind of told to you right here. I'm going to kind of go through step by step, side by side, what it is that I'm doing and why. Uh, so first off, I want to have something that looks like this. And it's telling me the height and the width of it, which I have in this view. So I'm going to make something that looks about like that. So I'll make a new 2D sketch. It's going to use a rectangle. Always start with your origin. And switch over to a line. and trim off the parts you don't need. Okay, and it says the overall height is two inches. Oop. Let's get back over here. Overall height is two. And the top width is a half inch. the right height it says is a quarter inch I'm gonna put this over here it's a quarter inch less than half the overall height so it's half the overall height this is the overall height divided by two is half and then it's a quarter inch or 0.25 less than that The overall width here overall width is 50% larger than the overall height. This is the overall height and it's 50% larger. So I can say times 1.5. The depth is 0.25 greater than the overall height. So let's extrude this. And that's our overall height again with the D0. It's 0.25 greater. So that plus 0.25. The upper hole diameter, so now we're making holes on here. So we need to make a right click, new sketch. Upper is up top, lower is down low. Normally I'd make holes, but since this is uh, telling us diameters, I'm just going to put in circles. So the upper hole diameter here is an eighth inch larger than the top width. This was D0, so this is D1. I'm going to type in uh, D1, it's the top width, and it is an eighth inch larger. So plus 1 divided by 8. The lower hole diameter here is a sixteenth less than the upper hole diameter. There's our upper hole diameter minus one sixteenth. The edge distance, and it kind of describes what the edge distance is, but it, it wants you to click here and kind of hover over the bottom of this until we get that little uh, symbol that shows the edge of the circle this distance is going to be uh, one eighth inch greater than one quarter of the upper hole diameter. So here's our upper hole diameter. This is a quarter of it. It's divided by four and it's an eighth inch greater than that. So plus one oop, divided by eight. And we're going to go back and rename this in just a second. Uh, the whole centers are aligned the same distance from the back edge. The whole 
center to center distance is an eighth inch less than half the overall width. Okay. So oop. let's go back here. Where did that go? The whole centers are aligned, the same distance from the back edge. Uh, now we'll figure that out later. And sorry, I may have to zoom out just a little. Center to center distance is an eighth inch less than half the overall width. All right, so here to here, the overall width, d0, d1, d2, d3, so this should be d3, minus an eighth inch, oh, half the overall width, so d3 divided by 2, minus 1 divided by 8. Okay. And the distance from the back edge to whole centers, so that's going to be from here to here. Back edge to whole centers is a third the part depth. Okay, so part depth we had d0, d1, d2, d3, d4. So d4, and it's a third of that, so divided by 3. Okay, we're going to make a horizontal constraint between the two points. And now they're both the same distance away from the back edge. And now we're ready for hole depth, so we're going to extrude this. It's half the diameter of the lower hole. So first we have to say we're cutting both of these, and it's going to be not d0 plus 25, but diameter of the lower hole was here, so I just click on that, and it's half of that. So it's d7 divided by 2. Okay, where did I leave off? Here we go. Uh, the notch width which is going to be over on this face, 35% the overall width, and actually, you know what, I'm going to make this on the bottom of this sketch. So let's say, new sketch down here, I know there's going to be some kind of a notch, so I'm going to use my rectangle tool, and the width of this here is 35% the overall width. The overall width we said was uh, d0, d1, d2, d3. So, d3 times 0.35, it should be 35%, okay? Uh, the notch depth is always 0.25, so this is a constant, and it is centers from the front face from left to right. All right, so let's go with a vertical constraint. We'll find the midpoint of this and the midpoint of our overall shape here. So there it's centered. And the inside vertical edges of the notch are filleted a quarter the top width. So let's do a fillet. And the top width was D1. So it's going to be d1 divided by 4, it's a quarter of it, and that's on the inside faces of this. Okay. So now we need to extrude cut this all the way through. Change the distance to all. And we're making a shell. Shell is... Where did shell go? All 
I'm going to pause this and find Shell. Here's Shell. Make sure we click on this face, and it says that the thickness of this is going to be, where does it say? Half the whole depth. The whole depth, gosh, I don't know what whole depth is. We're going to hit cancel for just a second. Uh, let's take this time to go into our manage, and let's start naming things. So let's go to our parameters, and D0, it said to call that overall height. D1 is top width. I'm going to pause the video and come back when all this is all filled out. So here I've added in labels for everything. I've just pulled it straight off the chart here. I did have to make a couple special exceptions for things like the zero degrees, which I just labeled as taper angle or extrude taper. So I'm going to keep this consistent. Taper angle. And uh, now we're ready to put in the shell thickness, half the whole depth, and looking at my table, whole depth was D11. So, let's go back to 3D model, shell, and it's going to be D11 divided by 2. Okay, so now we have our completed part, and it asks us to edit the parameter table for your part in the 3D CAD solid model software which is what we just got done doing with our manage parameter tab okay uh, find the following physical properties of the part as described above volume surface mass those are all found in here under I properties under physical you have to change this to any kind of material you'll have volume mass area etc uh, for the overall width right to whole center, whole center to center. These are all found by looking at your parameter table. So overall width we have here, uh, right whole to center, we don't have. All right, so this is something we have to go back in and find. So let's make a new sketch on here for a second. When we put this in, we went from edge to the edge of this circle. It wants us to put in another one from here to here. It's gonna say this is over dimensioning. I don't care we're putting it in anyway and when we go back to our tools or uh, well I guess we have to finish the sketch first and manage parameters the very bottom we should have a new thing and we are going to call this the uh, right to whole center and now we can pull the dimension value off of that so let's just hit done and that should be everything. Uh, whole center to center should already be labeled for you. When it tells you to go back and change the overall width of the part to three and a half and the top width to three eighths, just go back to your extrusion one, double click on sketch one, and we're going to change the overall height that it asked for here. No, I'm sorry, not the overall height. It says the overall width which is kind of goofy because that was a equation, but that's what it asked for, so 3.5. And the top width here to be 3 eighths. Okay, now if you did this correctly, when you go to finish your sketch, everything will kind of shift and change itself out of place. This will give you a new number and you should be able to go through and check the same way that you did before to find out what other stuff has changed. All right, um, I may end up doing this for you guys too. Let me take a look at it. And until then, I guess this video is finished.